Alright guys, so just a heads up at the beginning of the video, I think I'm going to do something a little bit different and just drop in for some voiceovers here and there. So if you hear me talking over the pictures, uh, I'm just going to be explaining a few details, little fun facts, things you might want to know about the cars. So first up, we have this Glickenhaus Baja boot. Only two were ever made. This is one of the prototypes. All right, second Glickenhaus on the list is the O4S. It's a fully bespoke built 650 horsepower supercharged V8 supercar with a center driving position like a McLaren F1. Alright, so this is the Trabant. It has a reputation as being an all-around horrible car, and it was built in East Germany under communist control. That thing smells like nothing I've ever smelled before. Surprisingly, this was the only Koenigsegg of the weekend. It's a beautiful red carbon Regera with a matching red quilted leather interior. And sitting next to it is an orange McLaren P1 with very few exposed carbon options, which I thought was beautiful. And of course, you have your casual speed tail in the back, and just check out those carbon wheels on the Ruggiero. They're a little hard to make out, but through this window are a Porsche Carrera GT and the Bugatti Veyron. That's one, two, three LaFerraris, and an F1 car. One LaFerrari, two LaFerrari, three LaFerrari. And there are just no words for this. I don't know what is happening right now or how I got here, but, um, just when I thought it was over, that is six LaFerraris in one day. I'm pretty sure that's a Veyron Vitesse. Oh my God, there's a 177 in there. One seven seven and a Veyron. beautiful British racing green on the end is the Aston Martin Valkyrie AMR Pro. 
It's a Formula One based supercar built in conjunction with Red Bull Racing. This is the Polestar 1 all electric coupe by Volvo. There are only 150 units ever to be made and it is stock with 619 horsepower. I'm sure you heard the gentleman in the background yelling, but this is a Fitch Phoenix. It is the only one ever built, and it was designed on the chassis of a Chevy Corvair by a former World War II ace pilot. Oh, you use the same word every day? Gross, yeah. My R, my S, T, O, A. I feel like I'm a good job Now this, this is just something else. It is believed to be an all-original Ferrari Testarossa. It is not confirmed though, I suspect, just because the one guy from Ferrari hasn't come out to look at the car and say, yes, this is a real Testarossa. at now is the Jaguar XJ220. It was the fastest car in the world for quite a long time with its twin turbocharged V6 and long low slung stance. When I saw this car I freaked out because it wasn't in the show and I thought that this guy was genuinely driving a Bugatti Type 35 on the street but then I realized it's left hand drive and I'm pretty sure they only ever built those in a right hand drive setup. This is the Cunningham C3, bodied by Vignali. It's one of about 25 to ever exist, and it's powered by a Chrysler Hemi. This is a French car you've probably never heard of. It's called the Talbo Lago, and it's valued at about $10 million. Although it may look old, this hot rod was actually built pretty recently in rural New York, all using old parts, but built today. It's 
So the owner of this beautiful DB4 convertible is actually the second owner, and this specific chassis was on display at the New York Auto Show. It is all original. It has simply been repainted to British Racing Green from its original white color. All right, best in show, best in show. advanced technologies and if you follow formula one essentially bill one of the greatest designers and engineers of our era is mr adrian newey single-handedly uh, four of these beautiful Bugatti Type 57 Atlantic Coupes. Another one is owned by Ralph Lauren, and this one is valued to be upwards of $100 million. Lime Rock Park Award. This car coming to us from the Powered by America. Who's presenting the Lime? Oh, Miss Julie will be presenting the Lime Rock Park Award. Bill, this is the night. 1966 Fitch Phoenix, ladies and gentlemen, coming from the collection of Mr. Charles Mallory. I think Fitch. This is a very rare Pizzerini Strata. It was designed by a former Ferrari designer and is powered by a 327 Chevy small block. Vermont, oh, you people did well. These were originally designed. This is the one-off Best of Show winning Packard Victoria. It's actually this owner's sixth time winning Best of Show at the Concorde d'Elegance in Greenwich. Everybody recognizes the iconic Shelby AC Cobra, but this one is particularly special because it is all original. It's not a kit car. <laughs> Would you believe me if I told you this was a De Tomaso? This is the Bentley 4.5 liter. It's an old Le Mans racer, and when it was released, it cost about 1,300 euros. Keep in mind, at that time, a house was about 200 euros. <laughs> 